five years ago. A tradition began that has changed the face of competitive gaming. The International. A tournament summoning the finest Dota teams from across the globe. Since its creation, much has changed. The crowds have grown from modest gatherings to a roaring sea of fans. The tools have expanded from a humble selection of heroes to over 100 potential gladiators. And with the help of the Dota community, each year the stakes have risen. Again and again, becoming the largest prize pool in eSports history. Once more, the time has come. From across the world, they have gathered. They have prepared. They are the best of the best. Some are veterans, warriors and victors of tournaments past. And others, ambitious newcomers, ready to prove themselves against revered champions. The eyes of the world now turn to Key Arena, eager to witness history firsthand. Hungry to watch the war unfold. Who will emerge victorious? The battle begins. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the International 2015. Day four is upon us. We are over halfway through the fifth International. All the champions are gone. The champions are dead. Long live the champions. We'll have a new name on the Aegis in 2015. And welcome to day four. To the panel members as well, to Melini. Melini. Are we still going to do that today? Shiva and Sev, welcome back, everyone. Uh, Winter, of course, on the panel. How are you doing? Everyone Bye. Okay. I have my new partner in crime over here. Yeah. We're, Bye, Mad. We're doing really good today. Yeah. <laughs> you've, you've joined at the hip. The uh, MW team now. I don't know how we do that. It's, you've kind of ruined everything, Winter. You can change his name. You can just keep being his name. <laughs> we'll, we'll call him Minter from now on then. That works. Yeah, because then it's Malini and Minter and they're still Team M. That works, doesn't it? How are you doing, Seb? So I'm going to be Wad? Well, you're just Seb. I'm just Mad. Seb. I'm fine with Seb. Hey. If Seven Shiva, Team S. Seven Shiva, yeah, Team S. Right. Yeah, like that was an easier shuffle. Yeah, easy. Yeah. How you doing, Shiva? Doing really good. Really yeah. hyped for today. Yeah. Um, let's let's start by taking a look back at yesterday. Uh, we lost the final champion. Uh, no more champions left. So there's a brand new name going to go on the trophy. That's that's kind of exciting. We don't know who it's going to be. Uh, we started off with 16 at the start of this week. We're down to eight already. It, it just seems harsh every day to lose all these teams, these great teams going home. And it was no different yesterday. Seeing another couple of teams going home. What was your personal highlight? Secrets about bouncing back. Mm. Secret bouncing back. I think uh, everyone was surprised by them getting too old by Ehome. Yeah. And them coming back after 1-0 deficit was quite uh, quite exciting to watch. I know Winter's favorite moment yesterday was seeing Techies picked, right? <laughs> <laughs> sort of. But <laughs> my second favorite moment was uh, seeing LGD. I didn't expect LGD to get actually stomped so hard by yeah. c Yeah, they did get absolutely ruined by c -Deck and uh Fantastic performance from them. What about you, Malini? I liked how EG just ran three completely different strategies in the games. We saw Techies, we saw an anti-mage base strat, and we saw Sumail carry with Wind Ranger. Yes. That was, I mean, they're one of the most versatile teams here. Yep. Uh, one other thing was Virtus Pro hanging in there as well for the Euros for the CIS region. Yeah, barely, but they made it through. I am really excited for them today. Of course, yesterday, I mean, it was a bit of a struggle. I mean, Complexity did put up a good fight. Uh, G was a bit ill. I hope he's feeling better today. Yes. Uh, it was sad to see complexity go, though, I yeah, have to was. say that. Yeah, great, great fighters yesterday yes. they were. Uh, and if you missed any of it, well, you should feel ashamed right now because you should have been here. Day three was fantastic, and you missed some really, really crazy good action. But don't worry, we've still got your back. Here's day three's recap. It is time to find out which team will go home first here today at the International. 